Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to EB Yoga. Today's class is some simple yoga stretches for after you're done shoveling snow. And I know this isn't a problem for everyone, but you could also consider these stretches for like after you're done gardening or pulling weeds or something like that as well. But it is the winter season for many of us, so if you've been having to shovel snow and feeling like you need a good little stretch after you're done with that workout, then this is the class for you. You'll need two blocks for this class, and we will begin lying down on our backs. Set your blocks aside for now, and we will find our constructive rest pose. So lying on your back with the knees bent, Feet are flat on the floor and there is space between your feet and your knees. Check in with your shoulders, see if they're pulled up towards your ears, see if you could relax them down. Allow your arms to relax in whatever sort of position would feel good today. And then close your eyes if you'd like. And just notice how your body is feeling right now. Is there any part of your body that's bothering you in any sort of way? Just taking note of how you feel now, and we'll check in again at the end of class. And next, checking in with your breath. We spend a lot of our lives hunched over, and if you were shoveling, I'm sure you were hunched over there. So when we hunch over, we tend to not breathe as deeply. So let's see if we can deepen our breath here as we relax. Maybe bring one or both hands to your belly. And then the next time you inhale, see if you can start to fill up, filling up the top of your chest, the bottom of your lungs, and then starting to let your belly expand with your breath. And as you gently exhale, let the belly collapse down and then empty out your lungs. Taking a moment here for some slow, deep breaths. Take one more really long and really slow, deep breath into your belly. trying to keep a long, slow, deep breath for the rest of class to help us relax. Now bring your hands in front of you and clasp them together and then gently start to draw circles or figure eights with your wrists. Slow that circle with your wrists down and change the direction. And slow those wrist circles down again. Keeping your hands clasped, flip your hands around so you're pushing your palms up toward the ceiling and then let your hands slowly peel apart. Maybe find some stretch there in your fingers. And then give your wrist a couple circles, maybe a gentle little shake. And then start to stretch your legs straight out and reach your arms up over your head. Take your right hand, grab onto your left wrist and pull it up and over. Then the left foot, pick it up 
point the toes and stretch that down. Try to stretch out your left side. And let go of that stretch on the left side. And then your left hand grabs your right wrist. Pull, stretch it up over your head. Right toes point down. Try to stretch out the right side. And let go of that stretch on the right side. Start to bend your knees, walk your feet in, and pull your knees over your belly. Hands on your knees and draw circles, massaging your lower back into the mat as your knees circle around. Take a moment to pause, change the direction of those circles. And then bring the knees back to center. Take a little rock left to right. And then start to rock front to back. Take a few rocks till you rock yourself all the way up to sit and then we'll flip over into our tabletop. Make yourself comfortable in your tabletop. You can always throw a blanket under your knees if you'd like some extra padding there. And then those long, slow, deep breaths we just did on our back, we're going to take into a cat and cow movement. Inhale, slowly filling your belly up and allow it to drop down towards your mat. And then as you exhale, pull your belly in around your spine up. Slow, deep inhale fills the belly up as it drops down. And exhale, pull the belly in, round up, really press into your hands. And take a few more of these cat and cow breaths. One more cat and cow breath. Take an inhale, belly down. Exhale, round up into cat pose and hold your cat pose. From cat pose, we'll move into our barrel roll. So right now we're rounded up. Press your ribs to the right. Let your belly drop down. Press your lib ribs to the left. Round back up. And take your rib cage around like you're scraping around inside of a barrel. A slow, easy stretch. Take this barrel roll around one more time. And the next time you're rounded back up into cat pose, pause, take the ribs the other direction. And take one more barrel roll in this direction. And then come back into tabletop. Next will be our thread the needle stretch, which you can also take seated if this makes you feel claustrophobic or anything. Take an inhale, reach your right arm up. And then as you exhale, your right arm will sweep under your body, reach as far as you can, and then rest on your right shoulder. And 
take one more breath here. And then as you inhale, start to press into your left hand, unwind yourself, stretch your right arm up one more time. Exhale, brings the right arm down. Inhale, reach your left arm, stretch it up. Exhale, sweep the left arm underneath your body. You reach as far as you can with the left hand and then rest on the left shoulder. Couple breaths here. One more breath. And then begin to press into the left or right palm. Take an inhale as you sweep the left arm up. And exhale, bring the left arm down. We are going to take one more round of cat and cows, but this time on our forearms. So drop down onto your elbows. If you like, you can clasp your hands here. Inhale, fill your belly up, drop it down to where you're at. Exhale, pull your belly in, round up this time. Maybe you feel some movement stretch in the lower back. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, round up. Take a couple more of these breaths. Let's take one more breath here. And heading into child's pose, let your hips fall back towards your heels. Arms can reach straight out in front of you or maybe stack them, make a little pillow for your head. Take a few breaths in child's pose. Begin to lift your head up out of child's pose. Start to press into your hands, bringing your body back toward tabletop. And get ready to head to downward dog. Start to curl your toes, keep a bend in your knees as you lift your hips up. And find your way into downward dog. Once you're in downward dog, you might want to bend and straighten one knee at a time, pedaling out your feet. And if you're pedaling out your feet, bring your legs back to still. Get ready for three-leg dog stretch. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend the right knee and see if you can stretch your legs away from each other. And start to square your hips back off. We're going to step this right leg through. Start to pull the right knee underneath you as you roll out like you're coming toward a plank. And then go ahead and set the right foot down. Grab your blocks, slide those under your hands, and then pull the right leg all the way through so you're in a low lunge. Your hands can be on blocks, your hips, maybe reach overhead. From this low lunge, start to tip your body over your right leg, hands to your blocks. Send your hips back a little bit so that you can flip onto the right heel. You maybe find some stretch now along the back of the right leg. You might want to point the toe, flex the toe, feel the different stretch.
And now take your right hand and block, pick them up, set them inside the right leg. Take that right leg, swing it back to meet the left, and take a stretch in child's pose. Begin to lift up your head, start to press your body up, back into tabletop, and we will head back into downward dog. This time in down dog, inhale, lift up your left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee, try to stretch your legs away from each other. And start to square off your hips, straighten out the left leg. We're going to get ready to step it through. Act like you're rolling out to plank. Pull the left knee underneath you. Set the left toes down. You can drop the right knee so you can grab your blocks. Left foot all the way through. Find your low lunge on this side. Again, hands on blocks, your hips. Reach overhead. And start to tip your body over the left leg, hands to blocks, hips go back a little bit so you can flip onto the left heel. Maybe now some stretch on the back of the left leg. If you want to point and flex the foot here on this side. And then pick up the left hand and block, set it inside the left leg. Left leg swings around and take a couple breaths in child's pose. Begin to lift your head up out of your child's pose. Start to press into your hands. And we're going to make our way to sit. So how I like to sit for this next stretch is to grab my block, place that in between my feet, and then sit down on that in hero's pose. I know this isn't comfortable for a lot of people's knees, so please feel free to just take a cross-legged seat. You can sit cross-legged or with your legs out in front of you. I just like the hero's pose for this next stretch. Once you found your comfortable seat, we're going to move into some breath work with some arm movements and hopefully stretch out some of those shoveling muscles. So from wherever you're seated, take an inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale as you clasp your hands together. And then inhale, stretch over to one side. Exhale, release back to center. Inhale, stretch over to the other side. And exhale, back to center, release your hands. Start to inhale as your hands come behind you. And then as your hands find each other, take an exhale. And then inhale, straighten your arms as you fill with breath. Exhale, let it all go. Take a couple shoulder rolls, maybe a little movement with your head. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, clasp your hands. Inhale, stretch to one side. Exhale, center. Inhale, stretch to the other side. Exhale, center. Let the arms go. Starting to inhale as your hands reach behind your lower back. Exhale as the hands find each other, clasp together. 
Big inhale, lift your chest, fill with breath, drop your head back. Exhale, let it all go. Take a couple shoulder rolls, maybe a movement with your head. And coming back to center. And let's make our way back down onto our backs into our constructive rest pose. So right back where we began class, lying on your back, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, space between the feet and the knees. Close your eyes if you'd like. And taking a moment to notice. First, check in with your body. Anything that was bothering you at the beginning of class, does it feel better now? Or do you need some other sort of stretch or movement here to feel complete today? If you need another little bit of movement, feel free to take that. And then checking in with your breath. Can you come back to those slow belly breaths? Make it a little bit deeper. Let your belly expand. Noticing how your mood feels now. Do you feel calmer, more relaxed, maybe a little energized? Let's take a few slow, deep breaths together end class today. Exhale everything out. Slow, deep inhale. Start to fill your lungs. Start to let your belly expand. Exhale, empty out the belly. Release the air from the lungs. And again, slow, deep inhale, fill your lungs. Let your belly expand with breath. And exhale, let the belly collapse and empty your lungs. One more breath. Slow, deep inhale, fill your lungs. Fill your belly. And exhale, let the belly collapse, let the lungs empty. And allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Feel free to lie here on the floor for however long feels good for you in this constructive rest pose. And when you're ready, start to roll towards your side so that you can press yourself up to sit. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. I hope that you enjoyed these simple stretches for after you shovel snow. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you back again soon. Be well.